mara ya sekta ya upasuaji mbao humo nchini baada ya marufuku ya ukataji miti miaka minne iliyopita shirika la utunzi wa misitu nchini limeweka mikakati ya kutokomeza ufisadi kwenye shughuli ya ukataji miti na kama anavyotuarifu jo Jacob Kioria kwenye makala haya ya pili shirika la KFS hata hivyo lina jukumu la kuwachuja maafisa wa fisadi ambao wamekuwa kishirikiana na wapasuaji mbao kwenye serikali mapato kutoka kwa misitu ya serikali Afisa mkuu hifadhi wa misitu Julius Kamau sasa anasema kwa ekari elfu tano za miti iliyokoma ambayo iliruhusiwa kukatwa baada ya kulegezwa marufuku ya ukataji miti shughuli hiyo imeanza tena na sekta hiyo huenda ikawa dhabiti hivi karibuni. The disposal process for the 5000 has already started. In any case, already we went to the public notice. We invited bidders, uh, no, not bidders but people who have interest to do business the Kenya Forest Service with regards to roundwood, uh, poles, uh, firewood and other forest products. And they we give them about 30 days to register on that platform and most of them have registered. And uh, of course Uh, section of the forest industry went to court to object the registration um, but hopefully that matter uh, was put on rest tomorrow uh, yesterday basically and therefore we are happy to to engage kulingana na kamao wapasuaji mbao wengi wamekosa kuunga mkono juhudi za serikali za uhifadhi misitu hatu ambayo huenda ikasaidia kukimu uhaba wa mbao humu nchini ambao kwa sasa umefikia cubic meter milioni kumi you not be perceived as if we are working in a different uh, direction in any case in any case the commercial forest plantations are developed and their working cycles are set to, to support the industry remember we have the big four agenda the housing and manufacturing so we appreciate that and that's why we are trying to create a good foundation that when we start doing business with them it is sustainable for them they will feel safe they can even go for for loan knowing that i can still be able to access the material tomorrow that's a plus timber industry does not implement a policy we don't have that mandate the person who implements the mandate on behalf of uh, who implements the policy on behalf of kenyans is the kenya for the service because it is the body which have which was uh, established by an act of parliament wakati huo huo shirika la utunzi wa misitu nchini linaweka mikakati ya kutokomeza ufisadi wa aina yoyote kwenye shughuli ya ukataji miti Kenya Forest Service has developed what we are calling an e-registration platform because we want to go digital. We want to use platforms which do not necessarily have to have a high interaction of a human our human resource. And uh, that is something that we have done. It too, actually it was done by entire internal capacity by the Kenya Forest Service and therefore today we have an e-registration platform on our website that is basically to register all the forest industry players within the industry. Lakini kizingatiwa kwamba miti inaweza kupandwa upya na idadi ya miti iliyokomaa inaongezeka. Shirika la Utunzi wa Misitu linafanya nini ili kufanikisha shughuli ya ukataji miti miaka ijayo? At a backlog of about 30,000 hectares of the plantations that were cut, felled but not replanted. And therefore one of the things that we have been able to do it is to to synergize our resources um, working together with the projects that we have to be able to replant and restock these areas. And so far we have been able to move from the 30000 hectares backlog to now 14000 and we continue and we believe in the next one financial year we should be able to clear off the backlog meaning we should be able to harvest and at the same time immediately plant for sustainability both for the predictable revenue for the government but also for the forest industry john jacob curia darubini